Members of our local four family visiting uh, our Help Me Hank adopted school Thurgood Marshall. Yeah, they talked to the students about living the life of a journalist and also revealed some important lessons with the hope that they too will achieve their dreams. Hank Winchester is live and Hank, this was a very special day for the school. Sandra, Jason, it certainly was. You know, as you both know, we've done a lot of work inside, a lot of the heavy work of painting, cleaning, transforming the gym and uh, different spaces, bringing educational programs into the school. But this was an opportunity for these students to meet some members of the Local 4 family, learn about our jobs at Local 4, and also learn a few lessons about life. Welcome to Career Day here at Thorgood Marshall. Stay in school and try to do what you want to do when you grow up. Here are some kids already making their plans for the future. A police officer. <coughs> I want people to be safe. Be a police officer. Because <coughs> my uncle is a police officer and I think his job is cool. Hi, nice to meet you. What's your name? On this day, members of our local four family here. Ms. Lee, Steve Garziola, how are you? From the principal's office to the hallways of Thurgood and right in the classrooms. The hope for this country is in you guys. Rhonda Walker and Steve Garagiola joining others in supporting Career Day here at Thurgood Marshall, giving the children a glimpse into the world of TV news, but more importantly, sharing important life lessons, teaching them how to succeed. As kids and even as adults, we're always faced with making decisions and sometimes they're good decisions and sometimes they're bad decisions. And then for these girls, I just wanted to express to them the consequences of making good decisions. And they're good consequences. It's like a really easy formula. You do good, you get good. Both Rhonda and Steve giving the students a glimpse into our lives here at Local 4, revealing what it really takes to be a journalist. When the clock gets to the time that we're supposed to be on the news, you know, I can't show up at the news desk with a note that says uh, I didn't quite get my uh, story done. I wish I were myself again. I think my biggest advice is no matter what your circumstances, wherever you are in your life right now, to believe in yourself and believe that you can accomplish anything. The reality is Thurgood Marshall is in a tough Detroit neighborhood. The school short on everything from staff to supplies, but the dedicated teachers and visitors like Steve and Rhonda they see the future in these children, and the hope is that the message stays with them. I want these young people to be thinkers. Look at problems, talk about them, analyze them, be a critical thinker, debate, ask why, ask how, ask questions, challenge. We've stopped doing that to large measure in this country, and I would hope that that's what they will take forward from this. To have these familiar faces and the others who helped with career day at the school, it means a lot to the school's leader, Principal Sharon Lee. And they talked to them and they were able to bring the students down and the students were like, wow. During the last year, we've seen the transformation at Thurgood, a new gym, office, cafeteria, and a literacy lounge. One, two, three. But it's these moments, the chances we get to connect with these students one-on-one, -on -one, to really listen. That have made the biggest impact in their lives and in ours too. Cheese. In that awesome, uh, big thanks to Steve and Rhonda for spending some time here with the students. Uh, other than TV news anchors, uh, there were firefighters, policemen, as you saw, policemen were very popular, uh, and many other business leaders who took time out of their schedules to connect with the kids here at Thurgood Marshall. We're live here tonight in Detroit. Hank Winchester, back to you. What a great example, too, to have Steve and Rhonda out there. Hank, what are you working on coming up for tomorrow at 5? Rhonda, we're shifting gears a little bit. Important information for families. We're talking about fire safety at home. Used to be that having a smoke detector was all the family needed in the event of a fire. That is no longer the case. You're going to hear from the experts. Important information everybody needs to know tomorrow, starting at 5. Back to you.